One of the reasons I like writing science fiction and using well-designed software is that uh, you can do it very productively without being encumbered by knowledge. In the previous example that I uh, created for uh, showing how to use Contact 5 Multis with Notion 4, um, I didn't really branch far beyond uh, using uh, a single rewire channel pair. And after reading uh, the replies in the Notion Music Forum, uh, I noticed that uh, there actually is a problem, which is that uh, everything was coming in on one single rewire pair. And um, there were enough clues in the follow-up replies that I was able to uh, figure out how to uh, split the output from Contact 5, from the Contact 5 Multi, into independent uh, rewired channel pairs. Uh, I'm not going to say that I actually understand how I did it, but uh, it does work. And uh, let's see, let's play a little bit, and uh, you can see that it is actually working. Now the key to this is that uh, you need to use this VSTI button up here um, when you're creating the independent rewire channels. And if you click on this plus sign, it shows you the channels that are available. Now currently there's only, in the Notion for score, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight staves and so that's why there's only this many channels there, there are actually more instruments in the contact 5 multi uh, if I added another staff then uh, I'm presuming that uh, channel 17 18 would show up now I've already created these so I'm not gonna create a, a new bunch but um, they need to be set down here this is the bottom drop-down list box, and that shows you the channel pairs. Um, now, since this is the first time that I've done this, uh, I'm really just kind of guessing on a lot of stuff, but uh, I'm pretty good at guessing. And I did figure out how to do it, and uh, the key to it is that you bring up the contact multi, and then uh, let's look at this tenor saxophone here. Um, it appears that uh, everything is pretty straightforward when you're doing the first four, maybe five channel pairs. But after that, uh, stuff doesn't happen quite so auto-magically. And um, you assign the output. There's an output uh, button, and you can click on that. And... You see how it's got uh, tenor saxophone, two channel, routed, 11, 12. And you want that to be uh, uh, what you're going to use. And uh, you, you can see that down here it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Well, uh, when you go, when you click on this 11, 12, uh, it's going to show you a different way to assign plug-in outputs. And uh, kind of the key to it is that what's available when you're first setting it up, um, there'll be some unassigned outputs, and they'll be numbered 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So when you run out of the ones that are easy, you want to start in on unassigned 1, and then go to unassigned 2, and then for the next uh, instrument, you'll be unassigned 
three and four maybe I don't know it's a uh, it's confusing but uh, if you click on that you see all these uh, different choices you've got uh, contact ST one two auxiliary one two auxiliary two and auxiliary three auxiliary four and then it has these on a sign and that's kind of the way it keeps up looking and so when you get into the higher numbers what you're gonna have is you're, you're gonna see unassigned one two three four five six seven and, and I think you usually just want to you know kind of figure out how it works you know just click on one of them and it'll show you something that'll provide a clue that well you clicked in the right place or you didn't and uh, I mean it's not very scientific but uh, at the moment that's about the best I can do um, I suppose I could show you how to do a new one uh, but anyway I'll do that in another video once I figure it out but uh, you click on, uh, on enough stuff and uh, save frequently and uh, it works and you know you, it's probably faster than reading the manual you know you, you always want to avoid reading the uh, the user manual whenever possible you know because uh, the goal is to be unencumbered by knowledge that way you you know don't have to think about so much stuff same so anyway, way so that's great and uh, thanks you know